Now we have three types of IV solutions. Wow, amazing. imagine that, something in your body and there's three. You have isotonic, hypotonic, and hypertonic. So isotonic has that iso in front of it, that pretty much e means equal. So isotonic fluids will not cause any fluid shift in your cell, out of your cell. It leaves everything where it is, but it will increase my volume. Hypotonic causes fluid to shift into the cells. Anytime you shift fluid into my cells, you really have to be at risk for elevated ICP. So when I think about um, a fluid shifting into my cell, what I'm worried about is shifting into the cells in my head, causing them to swell and elevating my intracranial pressure. Um, also, when I cause fluid to shift into the cells, it's coming out of my vascular system, so you're risking cardiovascular collapse because you're moving that fluid someplace it's not intended to be. And you can risk, put me at risk for third spacing. Now, we just spent some time in the previous session talking about what third spacing is, but hypotonic fluids put me at an increased risk for that. Okay, so isotonic, no movement. Hypotonic movement into the cell, okay. Hypertonic causes fluids to come out of the cell. Isotonic, no movement. Hypotonic, into the cell, 